Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you something very easy and quick. Today we are going to learn how to make this beautiful flower. I made this flower, this flower to decorate a beautiful sweater that I will show you later if you let me how to make it. But you will have the opportunity to use it for different things uh, as you could see I have three levels and you can make each level in a different color you can make to use it uh, for a blanket or for a blouse you can make bigger flowers to make a crop top or something else okay it will be very useful and very easy you will see also the other day I saw a TV host wearing this flower as a necklace so I love the result, I love how she looks so remember that this is just an idea and you will make it like you want okay so I hope that you will enjoy making these flowers in this case for the sweater that I want to decorate I made four flowers like this one so uh, I will show you the result too thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe well, in this case, for this flower, we are going to use a material that will be between light or medium weight yarn, between number 3 or number 4, and I will use the crochet hook of number 3.5 millimeters. So in one thread and wither hook, we will start, okay? Also, if you want, you can combine different colors. In this case, I will make them in this light gray because I want to decorate a coat that I made in a darker color so I want to give um, a different tone okay so we will start right here in the center making some chains so we will start making five chains first four and five then we are going to close in circle and we are going to slip one to close and then inside we will go up first with one chain and then inside we are going to make two single crochet inside so here we have one and two then from here we will go up with one two three four chains and then we will go to the other side as you could see I didn't insert the hook inside of the chains I just took this strip of chains as my reference and I made this single crochet but leaving the last loops in hold so like this we are going to make 10 so right here let me show you so we will put the hook in front then right there we are going to make this single crochet leaving the last loop in hold so here we have 10 now we are going to turn over and then we are going to bring all of the loops together that we leave in hold then we are going to come back to the second single crochet here taking both parts of the chain we are going to make a single crochet you see so here we have the first petal then again inside we are going to make two single crochet then right here we will go up with one two three and four and we are going to repeat we are as you could see we kind of twist a little bit this strip of chains that we made and we are going to place the hook in front without inserting uh, the hook in any stitch so just like this we are going to make 10 single crochet but leaving the last loop in hold so I will make it again with you so you can see exactly how it is so remember to count the end and please not tie too much in this part if you feel that you do it well you can use a different hook then uh, bring the, all of them together we are going to come back to the second um, single crochet and a slip one to close so here we have the second petal then again inside of the ring two single crochet and like this until we have five well okay here we have five petals then we are going to slip one to close right here now we are going to make the second level 
So here behind we are going to start making first five chains. And then we are going to insert the hook right behind of the first petal. From behind, you see, we are going to make a single crochet. Then again, six chains. And right behind of the next flower, right here, we are going to make a single crochet. So like this we are going to continue making six chains behind each petal. So at the end we must have five. Well, so here we are. I'm making the last strip of chains with six chains. And this will be the base of the next level, okay? So here we are going to slip on to close the row. Please check at the end that you have five, one behind each petal. Well then here inside we are going to start making half double crochet. So we are going to make one and then from here in the coming uh, stitches we are going to make double crochet. So we are going to make six. Here we have three, four, five and six. Then the last half double crochet. So as you could see at the beginning and at the end we are going to make one. Then here to close the first petal we are going to slip one until the end. So we are going to repeat again. To begin we are going to make one half double crochet then inside six double crochet and like this is how we are going to continue all around until we have five like this one. So as you could see at the beginning and at the end of each petal we are going to make one half double crochet. And between we are going to make six chains. Remember here it's very important that we close each petal by a slipping one before we start with the next one. So like this we are going to make five. Well then at the end we are going to slip one to close. Okay, so now this is the second level, right? So now we are about to make the base for the third level. So right behind we are going to make six chains and we are going to insert the hook and make a single crochet. So as you could see also we are going to make six chains behind each petal and we are going to insert the hook between these two petals right here in the middle and make a single crochet. So this will be the base for the third level. So like this until we have five arches like this, okay? Well, so here we are going to finish the row and slip one. Then as you could see this is the base of the third level so we are about to make this a uh, petal you see how pretty it looks like a crown right so first we are going to make one two three four five six seven eight eight chains okay so and then turn over twice and we will go to the middle of this um, wave and right there we are going to make a triple double crochet then we are going to make four chains and then again we are going to make a triple double crochet so we will have here a kind of B then one two three four five six seven and eight eight chains and we are going to insert the hook right at the end of the first arch so here we will have this first a petal. Then, again, then again we are going to make eight chains. We will turn over twice and we will go right to the middle of the next arch and right there we are going to make a triple double crochet. Then four chains and then again in the middle we are going to make a triple double crochet to make a V. Then eight chains and right here in the joint a single crochet. 
So like this is how we are going to continue the whole draw and at the end we must have 5. Well, so at the end we will have 5 petals. Well then, here inside we are going to make 9 single crochet. So here we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Then, again here inside this space we are going to make 4 single crochet. Then we will go up with 1, 2, 3 chains to make a picot. So we are going to come back and make a is I mean a slip one. So here we have the picot. Then in the same place we are going to make four single crochet and then we will finish with nine single crochet in the other side. So here we are making a review. So we are making the last nine single crochet and I want to finish this first petal with you so you can see exactly how it is and remember like we are making this one we are going to make the rest so at the end we are going to here just slip one to close and we will have something like this so this is one so at the end we must have a five so right away remember nine single crochet then four then three chains the picot four single crochet and we will finish with nine single crochet okay so let's continue until we have five so here we have the five petals okay so at the end we are going to cut a long thread because we will use it to sew it to our break that we want in this case as I told you we are going I mean I will decorate a sweater that I made I will show you the result too and please let me know in the comments if you want that I show you how I made the code. So, so far this is the end of the video. At the end I always suggest that you iron it. You can put some pins um, to extend your flower because remember that the first time that we iron it's the most important. So you can put some pins here in the base to extend them perfectly and if you want here to have these like petals in relief we will just iron the first part okay but it's up to you also you can iron a bit the second level but like you want okay so this is the end of the and uh, the result you will decide what you want to decorate there are a lot of things that you can decorate with this flower please if you have an idea let me know here in the comments which it will be so thank you so much for watching this video until the end don't forget to subscribe and please stay tuned for coming videos thank you so much take care and see you soon bye bye